Best of r slash tales from retail episode 56. Several years ago when I worked in retail, this incident is what stands out and is by far the craziest story from my retail experience. TL. Doctor. Two women scream at each other in the midst of a Sunday rush. It was awkward. The two most important characters of this story. Mom lady, a woman who came in and almost always had five boys with her. While one kid was in the cart, the others would run around and yell, and be underfoot. Kinda makes you reconsider having kids. Deputy W, lady in her 40s 50s and is a deputy in the police department, or so she claimed. This happened in the middle of a Sunday rush, and there are five cashiers open. All of us are busy. My designated role was bagger on that fateful day, so I'm doing my stuff for the cashier when Deputy W comes through our line. Two rows over, mom lady and her four kids come through. The kids start running around, yelling, and rolling across the floor. Our store manager at that time was a tower of a man who I'm pretty sure reached seven or so was trying to not step on a rolling kid. Rolling kid was at the exit between two checkout lanes so that made stepping around him difficult. Store manager needed to be moving, but his progress was hindered by the kid constantly rolling where he needed to put his foot down. Finally the store manager was able to walk around the kid and just do what needed to be done for the cashiers slash customers. All the while the other kids are just adding to the chaos. This is paraphrased, but is the gist. Deputy W loudly demands, whose kids are those? Mom lady, they are mine. Deputy W, you need to discipline your kids. Mom lady, how I raise my kids is none of your business. Deputy W, you can't even get your kids to behave. You deserve to have them taken away. I am a deputy in the police department and I will report you. Someone give me her number so I can report her. Nobody gave Deputy W mom lady's number. Mom lady, FXXKUBCH. Deputy W, FXXKU. I will report you. I'm a deputy in the police department. This round of yelling lasted a bit longer with the FU and calling each other dogs of the female variety. Deputy W continued repeating that she was a deputy and that she would report mom lady. All the while us workers are keeping our heads down and doing our jobs with a particularly intense focus. It was so bad I thought that we were going to have to call the police to break up a fight. After spitting a few more insults at each other, mom lady and deputy W went their separate ways at opposite ends of the store. I was honestly half expecting someone to run in from outside and yell that there were two ladies having a smackdown in the parking lot. The rush ended at this time as well, and all of us were laughing awkwardly and were beat red. Another cashier came up and said that her customer asked if the ladies were going to fight. I didn't see mom lady again for about 6 months, and when I saw her again she always only had one or two kids with her, one kid in the cart and the other free. Deputy W was never seen again. Thank you, next. I work at a cinema and when people book tickets online and would like a refund we have to give them a form to fill out with their details like their name, email address and some credit card info. For their credit card info, we mostly just need an expiration date and a few digits from the card number but not the whole number. We literally cannot do a refund without this information. The other day, a lady came in wanting a refund for an online booking so we gave her one of these forms and when she handed it back to me, I noticed she had filled out everything except for her credit card info. Me, I'm sorry, I just need you to fill out your credit card information to complete the refund. Lady, but I paid online. Me, that's fine, I just need the details of the credit card that was used to pay. Lady, but I didn't use my credit card, I paid online. Me. Okay, I need the details of the card that's linked to your online payment account. Lady, my online account isn't linked to a card, it's linked to my bank account. Me, alright, I need the details of the card linked to the same bank account. Lady, but I paid online, I didn't use my card. Me, I know but I just need the details of the card that is attached to your online payment account. Lady, but my online account isn't attached to my card. It's attached to my bank account. This went on for about 5 minutes and the whole time she was talking to me like I was the idiot. Her mother was standing behind her the whole time as well, repeating everything she said. I tried to dumb it down for her. Me. Okay, so your online account is connected to your bank account, right? Lady. Yes. Me. 
and that bank account is connected to a credit card, right, lady, yes, just like all other bank accounts are, she laughed at me when she said this like I was saying something stupid, me, right, so I just need the details of the credit card that is connected to the same bank account that your online account is connected to, lady, can't you just send it to my email, me, no, we can't refund the money onto your email address, lady, I'm really not comfortable giving you my credit card information, me, I understand that but then I can't do the refund, we need this information to put the money back onto your card, lady, but the money didn't come from my card, it came out of my bank account, I couldn't believe she was being serious, me, okay, I'm sorry, we need this information to put the money bank into your bank account, she finally gives in and starts writing down her details, me, all I need is the expiration date of the card and a few digits from the credit card number, you don't even have to give me the whole number, lady, you won't even be able to refund my money without the whole number, me, yes we can, it's literally the only way we can do the refund, lady, I don't see how you're gonna be able to refund me without my whole credit card number, it won't work, me, yes it will, we do it all the time, she filled out the information but there was one more thing she forgot, me, alright, it's almost done, I just need you to write down what type of card was used, lady, I told you, I didn't pay with my card, I paid online, me, I know but I need you to write down whether the card is MasterCard, Amex etc, lady, but I paid online, we went through the whole thing again until she rolled her eyes and finally completed the form. I then told her what I tell everyone when they finish filling out one of these forms. Me. Thank you. The money should go back into your bank account within a few business days but if for whatever reason it doesn't work then you can just give us a call. Lady. Oh I definitely will. And she finally stormed off. Thank you. Next. I have a million different stories I could share. But for now I'll share this one that happened a few days ago. I work at a big retail store where among the dozens of products. We also offer a credit card. From time to time I'll process customer payments at the register and normally that transaction is easy. Just to be clear, when paying your credit card bill, you'll have three different options. Pay with a debit card, pay with cash, or pay with a check. Normally people don't complain about the options and will pick one of the above, but I have had people try and pay credit with credit, which obviously doesn't work. And then there is this lovely gentleman, me. Hello there, what can I do for you? Him. Hi, I'd like to pay on my bill. Me. Sure, do you have your card with you? Him. Yup, it's right here. I then instruct him to swipe his card on the card reader. After confirming the selected account he says. Him. So I have $50 on this gift card that I would like to apply towards this. Me. I'm sorry? He repeats what he said showing me our store gift card. Me. Ah. I'm sorry but you can't make credit card payments with gift cards, you can use cash, a debit card, or a check. Now normally at this point any sane person would understand this and either cancel the payment or use a different form of payment but new no. Him. Why not? Me. Confused by the question. Because it isn't a form of payment we accept for this kind of transaction? Him. Right. I heard what you said, but I don't understand why. This is the same as cash. Me. No sir, that's a gift card. Gift cards are not cash. Him. Obviously upset now. Whatever, I'm not arguing with you. So I put in the amount he wanted to pay, and he confirmed it on his side and at this point he is kind of laughing like you would do if you just heard something outlandishly crazy. Him. I still don't understand why I can't use this. This is a credit card. Me. No, that definitely isn't a credit card. Him. It is a credit card. It's a reloadable credit card. I wasn't sure how to respond to that. I've never heard of reloadable credit cards before. Mostly I would imagine because they don't exist. But finished paying and left without another word so I guess he was just trying to see if I would be dumb enough to believe him or something. Regardless, I'm just glad I didn't need to call a manager over for something so stupid. Edit. Replace gift with credit. Silly me. Thank you. Next. This is at my first retail job ever. It was a chain and we sell dessert and retail. So senior year of high school. 
I love it but sometimes people get on my nerves as people tend to do. But this lady takes the cake. She not only got on my nerves but scared the crap out of me and my co-workers. So it's right before Thanksgiving which is always a busy time for us. And we just finished a huge rush and we finally have some time to chill. And then in walks this woman and at the beginning is very polite just mentions that she's in a bit of a rush and she needs to pick up an order she placed online. No worries we get that a lot and we totally understand. So my co-worker goes into the back to look for it. So my two other co-workers and I make small talk with her until the other one comes back. But when she comes back out she asks me discreetly if I can come back and help her look for it because she doesn't see it. So I go back and look for it with her. But I don't see it. But I think, no worries we'll check the online system, maybe it was an order that didn't get made, rarely happens but sometimes does. So I'll look and lo and behold it's not even in our system. Our system shows every order that has been placed so if she had ordered it at all to our location we would have seen it. So I tell my manager that we can't find her order so she triple checks that it's not there, and it's not. So she tells my co-worker to go explain to her that we don't have her order and that maybe it's at a different location because we had multiple in the area. So she goes and tells the guest that we don't have her order and this lady flips. She starts cussing out my co-worker, yelling, what do you mean you don't have IT? And like I am already late what do you expect Emmy to do? Then she tells my co-worker don't roll your eyes at me. Even though my co-worker literally just looked at her. And through all of this my other co-workers are coming in the back because she's scaring them. So the co-worker who she yelled for rolling her eyes eventually went back to get the manager. So the manager comes out because she can see this is getting to be a real problem. So as nicely as she can my manager tells her that we do not have her order and to call the other locations because we don't have her order. So she starts screaming that she's gonna call corporate on us and so on and eventually my manager finally tells her that she needs to leave. She finally does but not before slamming our glass door and almost breaking it. So that's my first retail horror story that genuinely scared me. Thank you. Next. So I work in a greenhouse and people think that it's so much fun. But it's not. Customers are crazy. These are some of the people I've dealt with in the past week. M is for me and C is for customer. Number 1. Customer comes in asking for an easy plant for his new apartment because him and his wife like the idea of plants. So I ask if the light in his house is bright or dim. He says IDK. So I asked if it was dim like the lighting near the registers or was it bright sorta of like the light in the greenhouse and he says. Well I don't freaking live in a greenhouse ee. Sorry but I never said you did. Number 2. Karen brings up two pots of mint. One is spearmint the other is peppermint. Asks me which mint is the one you use to make potato salad and I told her I didn't know. Gets super pissed off and calls me stupid because I didn't know which one goes into potato salad. Leaves both the pots on the counter and leaves the store telling me she will never shop here again. Sorry but I've never ate potato salad with mint. Where do they do that at? Number 3. This other Karen walks and doesn't say hello after I greet her because she is on the phone. Walks by a million carts and doesn't grab one. Grabs two somewhat big heavy plants and walks around the store with her phone between her ear and shoulder. I walk by her after she goes into the soil aisle and screams for my attention. She thought I was ignoring her but I thought she was talking to the person on the phone. Demands me to bring a small bag of the yellow soil to the counter because she said, I don't have three hands. How do you expect me to carry this? I bring them to the register and walk away while she continues to gossip on her cell phone while holding plants in both hands. Sorry but it's not my fault you don't have three hands and you didn't want to grab a carriage. Thank you. Next. I had a customer come in looking to buy a condolences card for her boyfriend. I'm still in high school at the time and just some dude. So I go over to help this lady when she calls me over. She looks pretty rough tbh but whatever. So she tells me my boyfriend is going to jail this week and I want to get him a card. I tell her I don't think Hallmark or Kelton make I'm sorry you're in jail card she laughs and says you're I know but can you help me find something sorta of the same? So we look through the cards and narrow it down to two. On that is Sadish and one which is kinda funny. She went with the kinda funny one and put a monopoly get out of jail free inside of it. I still think about this from time to time so I thought I'd retell it for you. Thank you. Next. Hey TFR. Long, long, long time lurker here. First post on this sub. 
I've been working at a furniture slash home furnishings place for about 5 months now and I just had my first true experience that was bordering on Karen. Not including the lady that couldn't hear the store's closing announcements and then bitched at the cashier on her way out, of course. So I don't work a cash register. I stock the shelves. They call me to the front when they need a price check, usually because somebody took the tag off something. Today I got called up to price check a gift bag from the checkout line area. I told the lady that I couldn't find the bag she had given the cashier and that the only other bags of that size were sold in 3 packs for $4.99. She started throwing prices at me like we were at a flea market, saying that she would pay $2 for just the one bag. It was weird how insistent she was to just get this one bag in particular. The cashier wasn't any help either. He just kind of stood there and nodded at me like he thought I should do it. After a few seconds of me just kind of standing there telling the lady no, the woman working the next register took mercy on me told me to page a manager. My co-worker Molly came and told the lady that no matter how bad she wanted to haggle us for a single gift bag, we needed to find if there were others that had come in a set with it and blah blah inventory purposes. That was the only thing that seemed to convince her that it wasn't worth the trouble. After Molly was done with her she picked up the 3 pack I had brought for price checking and just bought it instead. I went back to stocking the candy and was totally confused by the whole conversation. Where do people get the idea that they can do that kind of thing?